okay so let's start with the actual installation so I have already uh, got into the boot menu and uh, we'll be booting from our pen drive so here we have our boot menu from the mint installation media and uh, we'll be selecting the default one start uh, installation for uh, Linux mint so depending upon your PC speed and all uh, you will be given a graphical interface of the mint this is the place where you can actually try it out and all we have already discussed this in the last uh, video also so uh, before we proceed I would like to show you something over here in the installation media we have a utility called as gparted so uh, what exactly you can do with gparted is uh, you can create partition modify partitions and so on here in this setup uh, what I have done is I have uh, installed Ubuntu with uh, one partition over here and uh, this is something similar what uh, you will see if you have windows already installed so in this particular case uh, what is happening is we have two partitions over here you could be having more than two partitions what you will need to do is you will need to select the last partition and you will need to resize that last partition uh, as per your requirements now uh, you should do th this through windows windows has its own facility that will be much better and uh, once you have created the partition then only you should start the installation though the resize is safe over here but recommendation is that you do it from that particular tool only so i'm not going to resize it right now from this place but um, i'll do it during the installation okay so let's go ahead with the actual installation process over here you can see the icon over uh, on the desktop you just have to click that next is simply select the language in which you want to install so over here the system will provide you a lot of languages you can just go through the whole list and possibly your uh, favorite language is also there you can see Nepali, Marathi, Hindi, Bangla and other things are already there. We will currently uh, stick to English for the installation purpose. Let's continue to the next part. Here you are supposed to check your keyboard layout. By default it should actually select the correct keyboard you can just type in some keys specifically the special keys type them and see if the correct value is coming once you are confirmed you can continue now here it is asking me as it has already detected my network it is asking me if I want to connect to the network and during installation it can install more applications or newer ones or updates right now I'm not going to do that because it's just going to increase the installation time so we'll continue here this is installing third-party media you may want to have mp3 encoders decoders and so on so I just selected it and let's continue okay so here we are on a screen where it is asking us how to install it on the hard drive so the first option is install it next to the existing operating system in this case I already have Ubuntu installed you may be having some other operating system installed the next is erase the entire disk this is good if you are just going to use this uh, as the primary operating system and you don't want to use it use any other operating system I'd be really happy if you go ahead with this kind of system then uh, there is something else and we are going to go ahead with the something else part itself so that we can manage how uh, the partitions can be done and you already 
you have already seen that uh, we have not done the partitions okay so here we are on the partitioning uh, scheme here it's similar to what you saw in the G parted thing what I just need to do is uh, select the existing partition and uh, resize it so I'm going to select the last partition here you can see marked as dev sda2 I'm going to resize that particular partition so I'm going to resize it to around 50 GB and I'll be using the uh, remaining space for the new installation okay now it's asking me whether I want to go back or continue you should read the instructions these are usually helpful so let's continue now it is resizing the partition okay so we have now free space over here and in this free space we are going to create few partitions so the first one I'm going to add is a root partition primary or logical it really doesn't matter right now so I'm going to give it around 20 GB of space file system I'll take it as ext4 and mount point will be slash that is for the root partition next we'll add a swap space these days everyone has a lot of RAM but still if you want to have a swap space for hibernate or other purpose just select the file system type as swap and this should be equivalent and a bit more than your RAM size so I'm going to keep it as 4.5 GB in this particular case okay there is a EFI partition it's already selected as EFI the new distributions need a EFI partition so now I'm adding a home partition home is a place where every user gets his or her own subdirectory to keep their contents in Linux you are not allowed to keep contents here and there and everywhere so it will be restricted inside your home and this should be the biggest one because all your content data and everything will be stored on this so I have given all the space to that and there is some remaining free space for the purpose of uh, SSD this is a SSD which I am using and let's go ahead and uh, do the install okay so select your location this is for time zone purpose I'm going to select India which shows up Kolkata next set your name and a login name your name is your generic name second you can set up a machine name over there and then you need to set up a login name So the login name is not necessarily needed to be same as your real name. So and now set a password, set a good password and please don't forget the password. Okay don't set it to login automatically and requires a password to login. Now here the installation process has started it's going to take uh, some time depending upon what system you have and all it will take some time so I'm going to pause the video over here and uh, we'll meet at the final screen okay okay so here our installation is completed 
and now we need to restart our machine so here I need to remove the USB drive and press enter and then my system will restart okay so our system has restarted and now you can see I have the Linux mint menu and I also have the Ubuntu or the old operating system still listed over here so you can boot into both of them let's try booting into our new system right now okay so here is our welcome screen and uh, your system is ready looks much better now so here this system is ready explore and enjoy and have fun let's reboot and try booting into the older one let's see if it still works okay so we have the login screen for Ubuntu let's log in so great our old system is still working and we also have the other Linux installed over here so reboot go into your new system enjoy Linux